What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acres Scuba and Marina. And if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're here for part three of my personal rig rundowns and you guys have gave me some great responses on our other videos. And I really appreciate you guys watching it. So we wanna continue this series. And in today's video, we're gonna look at my personal rig sets that I'm currently using in 2022. Now this is by nowhere all the rig sets that I own. These are just the ones that I'm using in 2022. And as you can see, I do have them set up here on the tanks that I personally use with those reg sets. And I wanna break them down piece by piece and kind of show you what I use and kind of explain why I use it. So without further ado, let's take a look at the regs. All right guys, as you can see, I've got a slew of different regulators here. And as stated earlier, this is not all the regulators that I own. These are just the ones that I'm currently using in 2022. And I've also got a few extras up top here. You'll see I've got another reg set up top and a little manifold system there that we're gonna talk about as well because there are some, some of these regs do get slightly modified based off the type of diving I'm doing and based off what the need of the dive is. But with that being said, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna look at each one of these individually. I'll explain what the reg is, what the first stage and the second stage is. And then of course, we'll look at the gauges as well. And I'll kind of talk about why I have them set up the way I do. So the first one that we're gonna look at, guys, this is my traveling and my teaching rig. Now, I've had this rig for about two months now. It is brand spanking new out on the market. This is the 28X from Marez, and you will notice that the second stages are branded as SSI Pro. For the ones that don't know, each year when SSI Professionals renew, we get a special buy-in to something new out on the market. Now, the second stages here are dual adjustables. They are not new on the market, but the 28X is. Like I said, I've had this for about two months now, and I really, really enjoy this. This reg. It is a great breather. It is a balanced first stage. It does have a dried sealed first stage on it as well. It's going to be great for cold or warm water. But that is my teaching and my traveling rig. All right, guys, so the next system that we're going to look at is my salvage and public safety rig system. And this one actually has several different modifications I make to it based off the dive that I'm doing. But we're going to go ahead and start with the first stage itself. The first stage is an ocean reef first stage. You can get it in den or yoke. And one of the things that I really like about this first stage, it does have a cold water kit. It is a balance, so it's going to breathe very well, especially with the full face mask on it. And it's just an all around well built system. Now, like I said, you can get it in yoke or den. Currently, I have it set up in the yoke configuration and I am running my primary as a full face mask. This is the Ocean Reef Space Neptune. I do have the extender kit on it with adjustable lights and I also have a camera mount up top because obviously for salvage and public safety we always document our dives. For an alternate I'm running the Mares MV which is a very lightweight small compact alternate as well and as far as gauges I'm actually running the Mares Puck Air Computer with Compass. Now this unit is discontinued, but it is still a great system. And the reason I choose that over standard gauges, it's a one-stop shop. So at the end of the dive, I have all the information of that dive if I need to print it off or whatnot for that specific dive, whether I'm testifying or turning the information in to whatever crew that I'm working for that day. And I don't have to worry about adding extra things on my wrist, such as compasses and other computers. But that's my public safety and salvage rig. Now I do wanna make a quick note. I do have a secondary unit here. This is for a pony rig. And this is the gas block system from Ocean Reef, which I can run multiple gases or multiple bottles to the full face mask by simply wiring it in. Everything is on a quick disconnect and I've showed you a video in the past, I'll try to link it down below of exactly how this system works. But simply put, you rig your primary air source and your alternate air source to that gas block and then I can run both gas systems straight off the full face mask. All right, the next sets that we're gonna look at, of course, are my doubles rigs. And I have two identical systems. This is the Marez Navy Abyss cold water ice diving sets that I run on here. Both are set up, obviously, in the DIN configuration for the DIN valves on these doubles. And this system here is not really set up for me to do extended range diving, but it's actually an extension to my public safety and salvage rig. So if I get into a situation where I need the extra gas, then, of course, I'll come over here to this system. Now, I do wanna talk a little bit about the reg choice here. Here. I am using the Navy Abyss because we do a lot of ice diving. We do a lot of cold water diving and I love cold water reg systems just like the Ocean Reef system that I had over here. But I do have this currently set up in a standard tech setup with a long hose configuration. However, I rarely use the long hose when I'm in a full face mask. I actually shorten that hose length up quite a bit for a full face mask. But there are times when we do salvage work where I need the extra gas, but yet I do not need the communications unit nor a full face mask. So I typically will leave it in that tech setup. 
But like I said, it's the Navy Abyss first stages, which also has two Navy Abyss second stages on it. And then as far as gauges, I'm just using a Mission 1 uh, console unit here or pressure gauge from the Mares line. All right, the next two reg systems we're going to look at are my side mount systems. And these are the Mares XR25XR. I've had these really since they came out on the market with their XR line. And I do have just a typical side mount setup, long hose on the right tank and a short hose on the left tank. Each tank also is going to have just a little six inch hose with the Mares XR pressure gauges. And then I have the modified DR second stages is what I'm actually breathing off of there. This is a great system for me. It actually works very well. And I do have standard length. I've actually made this in other videos, but I do have standard length, low pressure hoses. And what I use that for, if I'm doing say rec penetration or something and need to remove both bottles, I like the standard length, low pressure hoses because now I can really reach out and gun those tanks without actually having to disconnect either say a dry suit or my inflator valve as well. So it works really good for me. Now, as far as choice of hose length, I have modified this system over the years. Originally when I started side mount diving, I used two same length hoses. They were 36 inch hoses. I've tried to throw you a picture up of what that looks like and then I switched over into a long hose configuration because I was doing a lot of penetrations in wrecks and overhead environments. After that, I kind of graduated back into the 36 inch hose length. And then of course I've come back to the seven foot. So as far as hose routing goes, when it comes to side mount, it doesn't really bother me how it's set up. I just kind of set it up for the specific dive, but this is the current setup with the Mares XR 25 XR first stages and the modified DR second stages. And if you're not familiar with these, these are basically glorified abyss second stages, just like on the Navy abyss and the standard abyss from the Mares line. Now the next system that we're going to look at is my pony bottle system or alternate air source system. And this is used across the board. So I can use it with any of these systems as well. I can use it as a small deco bottle if need be, but currently I've just got it set up for emergency gas. I'm running the Mares 52X first stage with an adjustable dual second stage here. I've got just a standard 36 inch hose. And of course I've got just a six inch uh, pressure gauge here. Once again, it's just the Mares XR line. Now I'm, I am going to talk about the 30 cubic foot bottle that we talked about in the tank video. Currently that is rented out to a customer. I do not have that 30 foot here, but I'm going to show you a picture of what I do with a 30 cubic foot because in our previous video, I talked about a very specific BCD that is used occasionally for public safety diving. And when I'm diving with that system, unfortunately it will not fit a 40 cubic foot bottle. So I still have a 30 cubic foot that I use with it, but the setup is virtually identical. I run the same length hose, except for another system. Instead of strapping it to the tank, of course, I'm going to put a necklace on this. It would run under my arm and then it would actually sit directly under the full face mask, just like the Mares MV does there. But that's the 40 cubic foot bottle with the Mares 52X first stage and the adjustable dual second stage for a backup or pony rig. Now, the last reg set that we're going to look at is actually an alternate system that I used to teach with. Like I said, I did just recently switch over to this reg system about two months ago, but I still have my Epic 82X first stage with Epic second stages. They do have the twin power system with the adjustable second stages. I've made a video in the past. I'm really not a big fan of adjustable second stages. I truly believe that if you have a first stage, it's balanced. You don't really need this adjustment knob over here on the side and the twin power, to be honest with you, I never Never really was impressed. I've never even actually used that system uh, because I've never had an issue with not getting enough air with a balanced system. However, this is my backup to my primary teaching rig now, and this was my primary teaching rig up until I got that other system. Now, I do want to talk about why I've not sold this system yet. Currently, this is set up for dry suit diving to where my other teaching rig is just currently set up for wet suit diving. And yes, I know I can add just a dry suit hose to that, but I kind of like having an alternate system as well. So if something happens to that reg set, I can simply pull this one out and simply go diving. And it's pretty cool to have it too for uh, my cold water dives already having that dry suit attached. This was the one you saw me take down to Cosmel and that I flew with. It is relatively a lot heavier reg system, but with the mile flex hoses, it takes quite a bit of the weight around. And one thing I didn't really talk about in this video, just about all my reg systems have moldable mouthpieces. So I mold them to me, especially the ones that I use for cold water diving, just like this one here. You can see both second stages have the moldable mouthpieces and I really like that. I think it's a little bit more comfortable, um, but this is my backup, the Epic 82X. And like I said, it is primarily set up for dry suit diving in a single tank or dry suit diving anytime I'm teaching open water programs. 
So there you go guys, that is my 2022 rig rundown on my regulators. But don't worry, we are not done yet. I'm gonna go through all my exposure suits that I'm currently using and my mask and even the accessories that I'm wearing as well when I'm out diving, depending on what type of diving I'm doing. But if you like this series, you wanna see more, give me a big thumbs up, definitely share it as well. If you got any questions on any of the regs that you saw in today's video, drop me a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer your questions as best as I can and as quickly as I can as well. But if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up, definitely share it as always make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.